This is a graph of all of Reddit. What sets Reddit apart from other social media platforms is its subdivision into subreddits for specific niches, from something as general as cats to a subreddit about my favorite obscure Japanese nightmare fishing simulator. This graph visualizes almost 90,000 subreddits and the 350,000 links between them. This is the culmination of weeks of data gathering and processing, which could have been spent helping charity or accumulating capital, but was ultimately devoted to a vain study about a madly interesting facet of the internet. Before delving into what the graph shows, it's important to understand where this data even comes from. This graph is derived from cross-references to other subreddits, from subreddit sidebars, descriptions, wiki pages, and FAQs. These cross-references take the form of an R and a slash, followed by the subreddit's name. In the graph, each node or dot represents a subreddit, with its size being proportional to the number of subscribers it has. Each edge or line between subreddits represents a reference between them, and its thickness is scaled based on the number of references. What gives this graph any meaning, over just being a curious collection of nodes and edges, is its subdivision into communities, which are groups of closely related subreddits represented with the same color on the graph. Each community shares some common focus, such as Europe, gaming, or music. There are a little over a thousand communities in the collected data, but most are insignificantly small. As such, this is a list of the top 50 communities, ordered by the percentage of all subreddits they contain. While the list you just saw contains communities that you could reasonably expect to find, there also exist communities such as this. This community is dedicated to history, religion, and collecting, which could suggest that people interested in one of these topics may be more likely to be interested in the other two. Another example is a community for both DC and Marvel comics, maybe indicating that the fans of these two franchises aren't so different after all. Additionally, there are these two communities at the bottom of the graph that seem to be almost completely disconnected from everything else, but have many references between themselves. One of them is dedicated to imaginary art, while the other is a collection of subreddits for each character you can play in League of Legends, confirming that League of Legends players really are outcasts from society. Another interesting community is centered around a subreddit called Gold Testing, which was created by a user as a personal testing ground for their bots. These bots ended up adding a large number of references to miscellaneous pages to the wiki. Some of those subreddits had no other strong links, and ended up being lumped into the gold testing community that contains 0.58% of all of the graph subreddits. We can also take a look at some distinctions between communities. You could imagine that the community for gaming, and that for programming and videography, would be joined under the umbrella of technology. But while they are in a similar region of the graph, there is actually very little overlap between them. Perhaps the best examples of this are the communities for football, the NFL, and baseball and basketball. All three of them reside in the same general area, and you could expect them to all be joined in one sports community, yet they are clearly quite distinct from each other. If you use Reddit, you probably notice quite a clear boundary between regular subreddits and those that are deemed not safe for work, or 18+. This feeling would be correct because there is a stark distinction between the Reddit mainland and the not safe for work region. As it turns out, one of the main reasons for this is the NSFW411 subreddit, which serves as a central hub for this area, it is actually the subreddit with the most unique outgoing references, to a total of almost 50,000 subreddits. It does a very impressive job at listing every single not safe for work subreddit, missing only a few small clusters. This can be contrasted against other widely referencing subreddits, such as the aptly named list of subreddits, that spreads its tendrils quite evenly throughout the entire graph. Curiously, the list of subreddits doing the most referencing looks like this, but the subreddits with the most incoming references have a far smaller number of references. This can be explained by the existence of subreddits that attempt to map out large parts of the website, but the lack of subreddits that would serve as a central destination. Finally, we can also compare this to a table showing a ranking of the subreddits with the most wiki pages, to reveal that there doesn't appear to be much correlation between subreddits with an absurdly large wiki, and their ingoing or outgoing references. This graph is based on a snapshot of Reddit taken in 2024, but it is a living website, the landscape of which has vastly changed over time. By looking at the most referenced subreddits that don't exist, we can glimpse into some of Reddit's history with disinformation and terms of service violations. While these were obviously subreddits that did not belong on Reddit, 
It's interesting to see the footprint they left, despite many of them having been banned years ago. While exploring this data, I stumbled upon some interesting subreddits and users that seemingly violate the fundamental rules governing the website, such as a subreddit with negative subscribers or subreddits or users with invalid names. First of all, r slash hoaibao 0906 receives the award for the least populated subreddit, boasting negative 665 members. I initially thought this might be some weird trick relating to how the number is displayed on the website, but this is not the case and Reddit's API directly reports this number. All usernames and subreddit names on Reddit follow a very simple pattern. They must consist of up to 20 numbers, letters, dashes, and underscores. Regular expressions are a way of expressing a pattern like this to a computer, and in fact, the Reddit website itself uses the following regular expression to determine whether to mark a piece of text as a username or name of a subreddit. Given this fact, it's only logical that there exists an account named u slash American Express Business boasting 23 characters, and a subreddit named r slash t colon heat death of the universe that is not only too long, but also somehow contains a colon. Both of these subreddits are actually impossible to reference because they don't match the aforementioned regular expression and will not be highlighted correctly on the Reddit website. It's interesting to see how, without having to even look at users or the posts, we can produce a fairly high quality clusterization of Reddit into communities. This was a fun project, but it will never truly be finished until Reddit itself ceases to exist, as ultimately it is the behavior of the users that shapes this graph, and it will be interesting to see how this graph may change or evolve in the coming years. Thank you for watching. All of the code and data used throughout this project can be found on GitHub under the GNU Afero General Public License version 3.0, and you are encouraged to explore and have fun with it. I would like to thank the YouTuber Adam, who inspired this video by visualizing Wikipedia, as well as the creators of and contributors to the following open source software that was used in the making of this video.